Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can insert a chart in a PowerPoint using data in Excel spreadsheet. So basically you would go to insert, click on that, and then you go to chart. Once you click on chart you, you have this new window and as you see here you have many types of chart you can choose from. So let's just pick a simple one, a column chart. Then I click on OK. And it, it's going to automatically get inserted into PowerPoint, but it would also show a spreadsheet here with some random data. Now, what you want to do is insert your own data on this spreadsheet. So you can just do it manually here and enter your data or you can go to your spreadsheet. What you do is you just copy the table from your spreadsheet or data from your spreadsheet and it doesn't matter that the data length is not the same because it will automatically expand as you see here in the chart. Now after this you can close your Excel, this one that got opened by PowerPoint, and you can customize your title, stock price, you know, and you can change the font. Okay, so the font is increased for the title. You can also come on the bottom here, and you probably want to be interested on in doing the same thing for those. So you just click there and it shows as a rectangular. You can make them bold and same thing, make them larger. And again, for this one, you just click on it. Just a simple click. And as you see here, now it's clear, you know, what the blue is about, what the orange, what's the yellow, what's the green. That's green, June. So, um, Something else I want to show you, so if you click on the chart and then you go to design, as you see here, there are many styles of the chart type. So chart types, you have pie chart, you have column chart, and you have line charts, but you have styles, different styles. As you see here, as I'm moving, you see how I have different styles of the same chart type. Okay, so there is another thing that I want to show you. And that is, if there is an update of the data that you have, then you can go to design and then go to edit data over here. And you click on that and it will automatically open the spreadsheet associated with this data, then you can update your spreadsheet. Once you update it and you change the data here, it will automatically change your chart. You can also delete some categories here. So let's do that. Let's delete two of them. You left click on the mouse, and you click delete. Okay, so as you see here, I only have three categories. I want to show you something here. Basically, you can flip the chart. Let me explain a little bit more. The categories that I have here are three categories. Ames, Danny, and Pex. Three stocks. And then it shows the price of the stock for each month. You can make your categories here on the bottom to be January, February, March all the way to June, you're going to make months as your category. And for each month, you're going to show the price of the three stocks. So let's do that. You need to select data, this one here. You click on it, and then it will open this window, but uh, you can close it because that's more advanced. And then after that, you see how it says here, switch row slash column. Watch the chart, what's going to happen when I click on it. Okay, so I clicked on it. 
actually get a click on it twice and it flipped it so now i have as you mentioned as i mentioned before on the categories january okay january february and each month i have the price of the three stocks that are Ames, Danny, and Pex. Let's do it again. Let's me flip it. I go to design and I click on switch and then automatically it goes back. Now I have categories, the stocks. All right, so hopefully this uh, tutorial on charts was helpful and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.